A full day of live performances on the main stage, roaming drag talent, kids activities, carnival entertainment, fabulous gourmet foods, plenty of opportunities for retail therapy. And of course, the world famous Doggy Wood, the greatest show on pause. All that here at the one and only Fair Day. Fair Day is the biggest and most loved community event of the Mardi Gras season. Held here in Victoria Park with an estimated 70,000 people attending on this gorgeous summer day. Let's go get sweaty. Each year, Fair Day kicks off the annual Mardi Gras season. Fair Day came about in 1979 as an alternative lifestyle fair as part of a week of activities around International Gay Solidarity Day. During the early 1980s, the Sydney Gay and Lesbian Business Association held an annual Fair Day, which was brought into the Sydney Gay Mardi Gras program in 1985. From 1985 to 1988, the Business Association continued to run the fair, which was subsequently run by the Sydney Gay and Lesbian Mardi Gras from 1989. Community groups have stores showcasing what they do and the diverse aspect of the community they represent. The main stage will be packed with entertainment all day long. Shenanigans on offer include body painting, bubble blowing and the most fun scavenger hunt ever. The amazing purple race, uh, it's a fantastic scavenger hunt that's happened today. Uh, it happened from 3pm till 4pm and we got heaps of teams uh, for a gold coin donation. From the original Mardi Gras protesters, the 78ers, to dykes on bikes and trans community members. Hi, I'm Kelly Glenny from the Carmen Rupay Memorial Trust. I'd like to thank Suri, Paul and the rest of the Mardi Gras team for their amazing work supporting the trans intersex where the gender non-conforming people's visibility and inclusion in this year's Mardi Gras. So I hear you're from Turkey. I am. So how would Fair Day go down in Istanbul? At the moment, for queers, it's almost impossible to make a decent lifestyle or living. We do, we do fight, but it's still, it's a constant struggle. Okay, so what we want you to do is put your hands in the air and hold hands with the person either side of you. One, two, three. Fair Day is making history by hosting Australia's first No Hate photo shoot. I'm here with Adam Busker, the co-founder of the No Hate campaign. Adam, tell me a little bit about the campaign. Um, for us, the campaign started in direct response to the passage of Proposition 8 in California, which bans same-sex marriage. But for us, it's grown to speak out to all forms of discrimination. And today here in Sydney at Mardi Gras, just raising awareness, photographing subjects for the cause, and all coming together for that one goal of equality. So has there been a good attendance here at Fair Day? been a uh, crazy turnout here at Mardi Gras. We have thousands of people coming out just to have a lot of fun. But here at the No Hate Tent, we have supporters coming out to take a cause and this common goal coming together again for equality. So if people can't come down here today, what can they do? We have like an iPhone app on the iTunes store that's free and available for everyone where they can take their own No Hate photo from anywhere in the world, essentially, right on our website at nohatecampaign.com. Come on, Aussie, come on. Come on, really. Come on, Aussie, come on, Richard. So why are you wearing purple? I'm wearing Purple because Work Purple is a non-profit organisation that is run by students, for students, raising awareness um, in schools about cultural um, and sexual diversity within the school. So I'm proud of who I am and this is who I am. We run campaigns such as the ending uses of the word to mean gay as an insult. So, you know, words like no homo, oh, that's so gay, things like that. Uh, we also march every year in Mardi Gras and we have done since uh, 2010. With another fair day over, we've been blessed with amazing weather, fantastic turnout and really hot candy. I'm Andrew Tuck for Inside Out TV.